day everyone, my name is Janine Pangutuhan, a level 3 nursing student of CPAC. And in this video, I will have the reporting of Global DMS or Global Demography, Mobility and Sustainability, focusing the case study of Filipino migration. The historical context and factors driving Filipino migration. So the Filipino migration has a deep historical roots with waves of migration occurring due to various factors. Economic challenges and limited opportunities in the Philippines have been key drivers. Additionally, historical events such as Spanish colonization, World War II, and political instability contributed to the diaspora. These factors have created a culture of migration as a means of survival and economic improvement for many Filipinos. Filipino Overseas Workers or OFW, Demographic Sectors, Contributions OFW, represent a significant portion of the Filipino diaspora, often employed in diverse sectors globally. So the demographic profile of the, of the OFW includes a wide range of ages, educational background, and skills. Not, notably, many OFWs work in healthcare, domestic service, and constructions industries so that their remittance contributes substantially to the Philippine economy, serving as a crucial source of income and supporting the families left behind. Philippine government initiative is for OFW welfare and protections recognizing the challenges faced by OFWs. The Philippine government has a implemented a various initiative to safeguard their welfare. So the Overseas Workers Welfare Administrations or OWA provides social benefits training programs and financial assistance to FW. Moreover, the Philippine Overseas Employment Administrations or the POAA regulates overseas employment and ensures the protections of OFW rights. So next is the demographics. So the estimated genders or the numbers of genders that is OFW in other country is women. So in terms of region, it is common in Luzon, which is Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. So the Filipino migrations contribute is the remittances or the money that they send back here in the Philippines. So the OFW are considered as a pillars of the Philippine economy due to the money they send back home to support their family. So the most common destination countries of all OFW is found in Saudi Arabia, followed by UAE, and Kuwait, Hong Kong, and Qatar. So the job types, commonly in North America, all OFW or overseas Filipino workers are professional like nursing, medicines, and more. So for the economic boost, the money will help the families meet their basic needs, pay for children's education, invest in, invest in business, and all which contributes to the country growth or the Philippine growth. So all the last is skilled workforce. Many OFW are professionals who feel important role in the countries or the countries where they work in. So this showcase the skills and abilities of the Filipino work workforce on a global scale. So there are two factors that will lead to Filipino migration, which is the push factors and pull factors. So push factors even in the Philippines. So there are some which is limited economic opportunities. So the Philippines faces challenges with creating enough high-paying jobs. So this pushes Filipinos to seek better opportunities abroad. And next is the poverty and unemployment. So many Filipinos grapple with poverty and unemployment, making working abroad a way to support themselves or, or and their families. So underemployment, so even with jobs, Filipinos might be under underemployed. Meaning, their qualifications aren't fully utilized or their pay is insufficient and many more expenses. Next is natural disaster. The Philippines is prone to typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. So this disaster can displace people and cause economic hardship, leading some to migrate. So next is the pull factors, which is outside the Philippines. So the demand to skilled labor in other country. So many countries have a high demand for skilled Filipino workers in healthcare, like engineering and domestic work. And next is the higher salary. Developed countries often offer significantly higher salaries compared to the Philippines, which is a strong incentive 
for migrations. Next is the better, uh, better living conditions. So some Filipinos migrate to countries with better access to education, healthcare, and many more infrastructure. So these are the sum of the Filipino migrations complications. So it's brain, brain drain and also family separation. So uh, many OFW working abroad means leaving their families behind. This can cause emotional strain and social issues for both the migrant worker and their dependents back home or the family back or live in the Philippines. And next is the exploitation and abuse. So Filipino migrants, especially those in domestic workers, can be uh, very vulnerable to exploitation and abuse by many employers. This can include long working hours, withheld wages, and even physical or sexual violence. Next is the reintegration difficulties. So after years of working abroad, returning OFW may struggle to find jobs, jobs back in the Philippines. The skills they gain overseas may not be directly applicable, and there might be a lack of support for reintegrations. Next is the government challenges. So the Philippine government faces challenges in regulating recruitment agencies, protecting migrant workers' rights, and ensuring their smooth reintegrations upon return. So it's very difficult. So it is very important to honor all our Filipino overseas workers, their hardship and hardworking personalities, and many more challenges and difficulties they face in everyday living as AFW. So we need to give them importance and believe them and always help them if they help any help in us if they are abused in other country or sexual abuse. So that's all. Thank you so much for listening. That's all about Filipino migration. God bless everyone.